In this module, we're going to talk about the very important subject of parting lines. A parting line is simply where two sections of a mould meet together to close the mould. A simple mould may have just one parting line, but a more complex mould may have several different parting lines. A parting line between each of the individual sections. Let me say something to you directly. As a rotor moulding operator, you are the guardian of the parting line. There are various ways parting lines can be held together. Here's a typical parting line. This one is on a large sheet steel fabricated mould, and the flanges are kept together by the force of clamps arranged along the parting line at intervals. Here's another option, bolts and receivers. You can see that the top half of the mould is set in a frame which contains bolts that can be tightened quickly with an air wrench. The bottom half of the mould is also in a frame and this has screwed tubes fitted. These are positioned to receive the bolts and provide a place that they can be tightened up. Sometimes flanges are drilled and fixed simply with nuts and bolts. This is a cheap alternative, but very slow to undo during demolding. However your parting line is fixed, it can always be damaged. This usually happens when the parting line hasn't been maintained properly and a stick up has happened. As we discussed, a typical scenario is this. The mold comes out of the cooler, you undo the clamps or the bolts, you try to take the top half off the mold away and it won't come. Something is stopping the two halves separating. What's just happened? A number of things may have gone wrong. The parts may have been grossly overcooked as a result of an incorrect cook time. This may result in the part being stuck to the sides of the mould. Maybe mould release agent wasn't applied when it should have been. Quite often powder gets spilled onto the parting line when the mould is being refilled and this spillage doesn't get wiped off before the mould is closed up. During the following cycle the plastic powder melts onto the parting line and acts a bit like a glue to stick flanges together. Maybe the parting line has already been damaged and is leaking powder. Plastic gets in between the flanges and melts as before. So you can see lots of reasons and nearly all the time your current stick up problem is the result of something that's been done wrong or been neglected during the previous cycle. So what to do? Firstly, check that you have actually released all the clamps. Believe me, a stick up is sometimes as simple as that. If not, here's why you should never stick anything in between flanges to lever the parting line open. Look at the flange in the picture. You can see signs of damage where screwdrivers have been pushed in to get a purchase on the problem. The defects already formed will become the site of future problems for sure. So, what can you do? First of all, don't panic. Most stick-ups can eventually be released. As discussed, if there are pry points provided, use them. If you don't have a pry point, can you improvise one, perhaps using the adjacent framing? On large moulds where stick-ups can be a real disaster, can you use the crane or even the bottle jack to apply pressure but remotely to the parting line itself. Sometimes, if you leave the mould to cool down some more, there will be enough release of the part inside to be able to get the mould halves separated. If you're running out of time before the arm has to cycle away, get the mould off the arm of the machine so that you can let it cool down fully, then you can work on it offline when you're not in a panic and can think things through properly. It's important to consider why the problem happened in the first place. If a stick up happens, even a mild one, there's a reason. Identify this reason, then work out what needs to change to stop it happening again. It may be equipment related, providing pry points or better clamping and framing. It may be procedure related, changing the frequency of mould release agent application or changing the way you apply routine maintenance to flanges. 
In extreme circumstances, the only way may be to get the parting line repaired so that the two halves fit properly again. Finally, don't forget your basic parting line maintenance routine. Examine the parting line flanges carefully. Plastic scraper first. Metal scraper only if really necessary. Paintbrush to sweep away debris from the flange. And then a quick wipe of mold release on the flange. Do this every cycle and you'll keep out of trouble. Okay, cooling process is finished. The next step in the process is demolding. Uh, now, demolding is simple enough, but this is the place where you can do some serious damage to your mold if you do it incorrectly. This is the parting line where the two halves of the mold come together and they're held together with clamps. So we need to undo the clamps get them out of the way and I always do them in the same order just to try to keep everything I do consistent. I'm wearing gloves because at this stage the mould can be reasonably hot. In this case um, I've done everything right with my mould release etc and you can see that the two halves separate quite easily. If anything's gone wrong you may get a stick up What's a stick up? Simply the two halves won't come apart easily simply by you pulling them. If you do have a stick up, on no account stick anything in between the parting line. That way you're going to wreck the parting line and you'll have trouble moulding after moulding. What you should do is use the pry point, which, is, which will be provided on the mould. Simply put some sort of bar in between the two parts of the pry point lever and the mould will come off. Once you've got the mould half separated, job number one is to have a look at the parting line that is now being exposed and check whether there's any debris or anything like that stuck onto the parting line. If there is, clean it off straight away. You should always start with a plastic scraper only use a metal scraper if you absolutely have to. That way you stop any chance of you scratching the parting line. So use the, use the plastic scraper to take off any debris. Once you've done that, with a, with a normal paintbrush, just use a paintbrush to brush away, brush away from the moulded part itself, get everything nice and clean. So once you have all the debris carefully removed from the parting line, just top up the mould release surface on it. Mould release on a, on a cloth, quick wipe around all the flanges. That will ensure it's much harder for plastic to stick on the parting line in future mouldings. All moulds will have a vent, so we simply need to take the vent out, unbolt the fixing, make sure it's clear of the vent hammer it out and there we've removed the vent. Take the vent out of the part. Now firstly inspect the fill media on the, on the vent. If it's in any way plugged up with melted plastic, take it out and replace it with new media. Now we're ready to simply remove the part from the mould. And then all we have to do is reverse the whole procedure, put the mould back together again, put a new charger material in, don't forget to put the vent back, and we're ready for the next cycle.